Hi everyone, um, today what I want to do is give you a beginner's tutorial on how to use the content remixing tool Mozilla Popcorn Maker. Um, what I'm going to show you how to do today is to take content, video content that you find online in a website like YouTube and remix the content to kind of put your own personal spin on it. Um, Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do um, before I start the uh, remixing the video content is I like to just make a quick introductory like section of the video. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this right hand um, side of the screen and you're going to be using these tabs um, essentially the whole time as you're creating within Popcorn Maker. So I'm going to come to the this tab that says events. I'm going to click on it and now <clears throat> there's a bunch of different choices. You can choose text to add, pop-ups, which are kind of like speech bubbles or thought bubbles. You can choose to add maps, images, <clears throat> loop video, skip video. There's many different things that you can do. What I want to do right now is I'd like to add an image to our template. So the image, this is the stock image that um, Mozilla provides. And I want to let everybody know that I have created this um video using Mozilla Popcorn Maker and the images kind of offer a pretty cool function where you can add a URL title so I'm gonna copy the URL of uh, Mozilla Popcorn Maker and I'm gonna add it to the image so that if somebody clicks on the image they will be redirected to this web page so that you know if they want to use popcorn maker they can just click on my video and um, they'll be re redirected to the popcorn web maker um, website so I have my image <clears throat> and now I want to add some text so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna click on events here and now I'd like to add a text box I'm gonna click on this event and as you see if you look towards the bottom of the screen now I have two events going I have an image and that's in layer one and I have a text box and they're right on top of each other going at the same time so that's gonna let that lets you know that those images in that text that image in that text box are going to appear on your screen at the same time um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and then I can come over here and change the text just by clicking on that box and I'm gonna write created by Joseph De Palma using Mozilla popcorn maker great and I'd like to just change the color I'm gonna show you how to change the color of the font all you need to do is go to this advanced setting you can then um, click on the font color function and then you could change the color by moving that outer circle to the color you want and then you could change the shading by clicking within this box so there's a nice blue color perfect alright so now I'd like to add the video that I'd like to remix <clears throat> I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna click on this media box and now I, I've already went ahead and found the video that I'd like to remix. It's a video of a baby lion and a baby tiger playing together. The reason why I chose this video is it's pretty plain. Um, there's really not much to it. There's no audio. Um, there's no, <clears throat> you know, text or anything. It's just a plain old recording of these baby animals playing. So I thought it could be remixed and, you know, sp spruced up a little bit. So here we go. I'm going to add the URL of the video in and then click Create Media. And now I have it in my media gallery and I'm going to pull it over and I'm going to put it in to this section here. And I'm going to drag it over so that it's completely butts up right in, next to um, the starting page so that way we don't have oh, there's a little gap so we don't want them to be a blank screen okay good um, and now like I said there's not much to the video so I wanted to add some audio to the video and I couldn't think of a better song to add than 
uh, one of the greatest theme songs to any movie of all time, um, Eye of the Tiger. So I'm going to use SoundCloud to grab the, um, the music file. So I'm going to come to SoundCloud. I've already went ahead and searched for it. Um, I'm going to click Share, and then that brings up the URL to the audio file. I'm going to copy that and then go back to Popcorn Maker. I'm going to paste it into the My Media section and then click Create Media. And now I have the audio file for the song I Have the Tiger. Um, and I'm going to pull it down. Great. And now that audio file is linked in. And as you can see, since the video is in layer zero and the audio file is in layer one and they're right on top of each other I know that both of these are going to be going simultaneously um, when I play when I press play <clears throat> so now um, I'd like to add some speech bubbles and text and and stuff to this video so I went ahead, went ahead and found some good spots in the video where I thought that um, I, it'd be funny to add some text. So here we go. Here I'm going to click back on the events and I want to add a thought bubble to this. And so now I'm going to click this pop-up event. And now there's a function where, so this is the pop-up that it gives me. It's got like an eye there and I don't want that. I want to change it into a thought bubble. So what I can do is I can come over here to this little function here and it says type and I want to change the type I want to change it to a thought bubble so now I have my thought bubble and I'm going to change the text and I'm going to make this little guy say does he know that I'm the King of the Jungle. Okay. And so that's that. And now I just want to move it, resize it a little bit. And let me just see. Perfect. Okay. And let me see as we go through. of the time. Um, the next thing I want to do is I'd like to add some thought bubbles to the tiger. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing. Go back to events, go to pop-up, and now I want to switch the pop-up again. I'm going to do it that same way. I'm going to click on type. I'm going to switch it to a thought bubble. And this is pretty cool. What you can do is you can actually change where the little tail of the thought bubble um, is coming from. So like if I wanted it to be like that, um, I could flip it. Or if I want it back to the other way, I could just click that checkbox. So you could flip that, which is pretty cool, I thought. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and stretch this across the screen. And you can even ch change the tail position. So as you can see, it looks like it's coming from the um, lion. But now that I've switched the tail position, it seems as if it's coming from the tiger now. And I'm going to make this, make the duration the size of the thought bubble right about there. Okay, so now I'm going to have him say, does he know this song is named after me? Okay. And so now I've got that. All right, good. 
All right, so now I've added some speech bubbles. Now what I want to do is I want to add a link to this page. Um, so these animals come from a particular wildlife reserve in um, Naples, Florida. So I want to um, kind of pay homage to that wildlife reserve. I want to if people watch this video and they'd like to kind of learn more about where these animals are staying, um, I want to let them know. So I'm going to add another pop-up and let's see. I'm going to um, have him have this line saying something. So instead of having thought bubbles, I'm going to give him a speech bubble. And I am going to switch the tail position. Bottom right. And then pull it across like that. And then I'm going to have this a C. Check out our web page here. And now I'm going to link that URL and I'm going to link it to the web page to their, the wildlife reserve where these animals stay. And I'm going to link the URL right in there to that link URL section. And now um, I have a working clickable link for people to see where you can, they can find these little animals. So as you can see that didn't take me long at all to totally remix this video clip um, and there's an important part of this the save function so what you need to do is click save and I'll name this eye of the baby tiger and lion and then a description here is a video tutorial on how to begin playing around with Mozilla Okay, and then what you can do is you can click on this preview button. And then you can go ahead and preview the video that you've created. So let's see how it turned out. All right, and as you can see, um, it took me literally a few minutes to take a pretty much blank slate of a video and add my own creative twist to it. Certainly, there's many other functions within Popcorn Maker. I essentially just showed you the tip of the iceberg, but um, I just wanted to give my viewers a chance to figure out how that they can get started on creating their own Mozilla Popcorn Maker videos. I hope you enjoyed.